Hello and welcome to the Listen to My Radio tutorial series. In this tutorial we are going to be taking a look at uh, SAM Broadcaster and how to use it with uh, CentOAcast 3 running Shoutcast V2. One of the biggest differences between Shoutcast 1 and Shoutcast 2 is that Shoutcast 2 has support for automatic uh, auto DJ on off. What that basically means is that if you have auto DJ running and you try to connect uh, to the server with your broadcasting software it will Shoutcast 2 will automatically disable auto DJ and uh, tune in your live stream and once you stop broadcasting live it will automatically uh, restart auto DJ so it continues playing without you having to do it manually like in Shoutcast 1. The other difference is, uh, is that Shoutcast 2 has DJ management. What that basically means for you is that you can create multiple DJ accounts with uh, different permissions so you can, for example, create a DJ account that can only view uh, statistics in Centolacast and when you give that to your DJ or someone else, they can only see statistics when they, when they log into Centolacast with that username and password. Um, what that also means is that you can have uh, different DJs with di different accounts broadcasting live. As far as broadcasting goes, you now have three options in Shoutcast 2 compared to the two that you had in uh, Shoutcast 1. In Shoutcast 1 you could either broadcast live with auto DJ uh, deactivated or you could broadcast with auto DJ and you to broadcast live you would have to uh, log into CentolaCast, manually disable, uh, deactivate Auto DJ, broadcast live, and once you're done broadcasting live, you would have to manually reactivate Auto DJ for it to continue playing. Uh, the added mode into in uh, Shoutcast 2 adds a few extra steps that you need to take uh, for broadcasting. We will explain all of those uh, in the course of the SAM Broadcaster setup. In this tutorial we are going to be explaining how to broadcast live with Auto DJ enabled and playing because that's the mode that most people will be interested in. We will also take a look at how to uh, broadcast only live um, the first thing we need to do to broadcast live with Auto DJ is uh, to actually set up and enable Auto DJ. For that, please take a look at our Auto DJ tutorial in our knowledge base. Uh, once you have Auto DJ set up and enabled, like we have here, uh, you first need to get some. Uh, details that you will need to fill into SEM Broadcaster to connect to the server. But before we get into that, I want to explain uh, the different broadcasting modes. Um, in When you would set up a broadcasting software in Shoutcast 1, you would use uh, an IP, a port, and a password. The process is similar in uh, Shoutcast 2, but you also use uh, a username with the password and you there are different ports that you have to use. Um, to see the different options click on uh, quick links under general and scroll down to live source connections. If you are broadcasting from a software that fully supports Shoutcast v2, you would use the following server port 
and you would set up a, a DJ account under DJ management here and use the username in the username field and the password in the password field. Um, some software like uh, Sam Broadcaster at the time of this uh, recording don't fully support Shoutcast 2, but uh, they can still use the advanced features of uh, Shoutcast 2 because it's backwards compatible with Shoutcast 1. Mm -hmm. So uh, you can broadcast to the Shoutcast 1 port, this one here, and uh, it will still work properly. Because there is no username field in the uh, Shoutcast 1 software, you have to use the username and password in the, in the password field. Uh, to do that, you write the username, then you write a colon, and then after the colon without any spaces or anything, you just write the password, as explained here. Uh, Th those are two ports in Shoutcast 2, but they both relate to broadcasting when AutoDJ is enabled. If you want to broadcast with AutoDJ disabled, none of these two will work. You won't be able to connect using these if you want to broadcast with AutoDJ disabled. If you want to do that, you need to go to Overview under General, and see the uh, port under account overview, this here, this port. If you have AutoDJ disabled and want to broadcast, this is the port you need to use. Okay, so in this case we are using SAM Broadcaster and because it's not completely uh, compatible with Shoutcast 2, we will be using the Shoutcast V1 port here. Again, if you want to broadcast with Auto DJ disabled, you need to use the port under Overview, uh, Account Overview, the port here. Okay, so we have Auto DJ enabled and working, so we will be using this port. Uh, the first thing we want to do is get the server hostname or IP from here. And copy it into uh, and copy it. Then we will bring up Sam Broadcaster and go to Desktop B in Sam. Once we are on Desktop B, there is a, a tab here called Encoders. Click on this uh, plus symbol, and once you do, it will prompt you with a window to select a uh, plug. In this case, we will select uh, MP3, LAME, ENC. You can also use AC+, uh, if you know what you're doing, but uh, if you aren't experienced with uh, online radios and shoutcast, we recommend that you use MP3. Uh, once uh, you have selected MP3, another window will pop out where you need to define some encoder parameters. The first thing you need to define is the bitrate. Uh, to get the bitrate of your package, you can go back, you need to go back to the um, quick links where we got the IP and under maximum bitrate it will show the maximum bitrate of your package. Then just go back to SAM and under bitrate set the maximum bitrate of your package. In our case that's uh, 32 kilobytes per second. Once you have set this or any of the other options on this page, you can proceed to server details. Um, under server type set it to shoutcast and under here uh, set it to v1. Shoutcast, uh, Sam Broadcaster does offer v, uh, v2 here, but uh, for some reason it doesn't support full, uh, usernames fully, and because of that we can't uh, properly use the features. 
so uh, paste the host name that we got earlier server host name into the server IP field here where it says localhost paste it here please note that sometimes you can accidentally paste uh, some blank spaces along with the IP and port or even password and uh, if that happens you may encounter some errors that will prevent you from connecting to the server uh, if you do get some errors try um, try typing in both the IP port and password to see if that will solve it. Uh, after you have entered the server IP or the host name that solves with its name, uh, copy the server port. Since we are using shoutcast v1 mode we need to use the v1 port. This is in our case 8004 or 8004. We'll copy it in here, paste. Um, now we arrived at the password. Uh, because our uh, Shoutcast 2 uses individual DJ accounts, we need to first create a DJ account that will be used for broadcasting before we can start broadcasting and finish the encoder. Uh, unlike, unlike Shoutcast 1, you can't use the source password in here. The source password is only used when you are broadcasting only live with Auto DJ disabled. If you want to broadcast with Auto DJ enabled, you need to first create a DJ account under DJ management. Fortunately, that's very easy. First return to Centovacast and then under configuration click on the DJ's options. Option. Um, then on the right side here click on create DJ account. The first thing we need to define is the username. Uh, you can set it to pretty much anything. In our case I will set it to tutorial. Then you need to define the password of this account you are creating. Okay, so set something. Uh, you also need to define the real name. Uh, usually, this only serves as an indicator so you know which account is which. I'll set something like um, tutorial here, doesn't really matter. Uh, under permissions, you set uh, the privileges or permissions that uh, this account has. You can set it uh, to only one permission, for example, you can only set it to view statistics. So when someone logs into uh, CentovaCast, they will only be able to see the statistics. If you want to give this account full permissions, you can uh, hold down Shift and select the first and the last while still holding Shift, and that will select all the permissions. If you just want to select a few permissions, you can hold down Ctrl and select them like this. While holding Ctrl you, can, Ctrl, you can just click on the items you want. If you just want to select one, just click and that's it. Um, under login restrictions, you can set the days on which the this account will be able to log in into the uh, control panel. You can also set the hours. Uh, by default this is set to 24-7 so the user can log in at any time. I will just leave it at that default and then uh, to save the changes I will click on save. After you make changes like these uh, you need to restart the server to apply the changes. We'll do that now by clicking on restart Restart under a server here. Okay. Okay, now that the server has been restarted, uh, the changes have been applied, and we can now proceed to um, setting up the password in Sam Broadcaster. 
Uh, as I mentioned earlier, because uh, Shoutcast 1 doesn't have a username field, we need to enter both the username and the password into the password field. But we need to do that in the following form. We need to use the username, colon, password. So in our case, the username was tutorial. Then we put a colon there and then uh, the password. In our example, the password was test123. And then we can click on OK. Um, now we can test if we did everything correctly. Uh, to do that, just select your encoder here click by clicking on it once and then click on the play button here. If you did everything correctly, it will show encoding under status and on the description it will say encoded. And uh, to start playing music in Sam Broadcaster, go back to the A desktop and just uh, here under Qui, you can uh, double click on any of these, these songs and they will start playing. For example, I'll click on the uh, Light Wolf and it automatically starts playing. And then uh, once the decay is nearing the end of its run, it will automatically pull files from the queue and uh, continue to play that way. Uh, if you want to use voiceover to uh, speak with the, on your microphone with the music in the background, you can do so by clicking here on mic on, uh, mic on, and then you can uh, either uh, push the press to talk button or you can use the lock talk button to have a hands-free situation. Now that we are broadcasting we just need to check if everything is working correctly and if the stream is playing back properly. To do that go back to Centola cast and in the top you will see a player. To test the stream click on the play button. And if you can hear the and if you can hear the stream that you are broadcasting, it is working correctly. 